Hey everyone, this is Rick here in the studio. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorowitz Watercolor. Once again this year, I'm publishing a series of holiday card videos for the project page of my website. This will be the fourth year that I've done this, and if you go to the project page on my website, you'll find uh, the series for each of the four years. And for each card on the uh, project page, you'll find a link for the image of the card that I've painted, a template you can use for a drawing, and a link to each video. And you can find the link to that project page in the description of this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the link in the lower right hand corner, and don't forget to like it. Okay, we're ready to begin this holiday card, and you're looking at the template for it. You'll find this template on the, on the link to it on the project page of my website and uh, you can find that link in the description of the video. So I've drawn that on this card stock and now I'm gonna splatter some masking fluid on here as I do in a lot of these holiday cards. So I'm taking the toothbrush, I'm gonna to dip it in a jar of masking fluid and I'm gonna splatter that. Just pull back the bristles and I'm also just gonna hit it on my hand which produces a larger pattern and I want to get a little bit more on these trees here. They seem to miss that. Try and get a little closer and target that. Same here. Let's see if I can get a little bit there. All right, so that's all there is to it. I'm going to let that air dry and I'll be ready to paint. Okay, so the masking fluid is dry on this. And I'm just going to take a very simple wash. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of, uh, I'll use a little cobalt blue, and I think I'll use a, an eight round brush on this. Take a little bit of cobalt blue, water it down a bit, and we'll go for just kind of a, a little bit of cloud maybe. Keeping the sky fairly light. Let's bring it down here to the horizon line, kind of. And then uh, take a tissue and I just soften that and blot some of that out a little bit. And then uh, see what that gives me. Then I'll come back with just a little bit more cobalt blue. If I like that, let's see. It's keeping it pretty, pretty light. And I just want just a few little areas with just a little stronger blue. And that's probably good enough right there. Now, uh, so that's my sky. And I'm going to take uh, this cobalt blue while I have it out here. Take some of that cobalt blue and I'll add a little bit of lizard crimson. You mix your violet however you want to mix it with whatever colors you have if, if you want it to be violet. This will be more of a red violet and uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in. I'm gonna go more to a From a red violet to a violet. A little of that color coming through maybe. And let's see, we'll go here.
Just want to get just a, just a touch darker here, maybe a little bluer. Okay. Now I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I'm going to take a little sap green, a little lizard into that, and maybe some royal blue. Let's see. It's not quite get me where I want. Let's see, I'm going to add some more alt ultramarine blue. Looking for kind of a grayish green. It'd be kind of an icy color for me. So that ought to work. breaks in here maybe let's go all the way across there let's see we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll dry things and I do see a little area I don't know if I have any violet left I want to at that. Okay, let me give that a quick dry. Okay, we're dry there. I'm going to take a four round brush to start. I want to get myself a, a good violet mixture again, ultramarine blue and alizarin. And I'm going to take a little bit of raw sienna out here. Kind of gray that down a little bit. And now, let's see, paint my mountain here, some grays, gonna have a little bit of snowy areas on it. And then we'll open it up here. I'll take a little bit of this raw sienna, start to move that violet into a more a kind of a warm neutral. Take my eight round brush. I don't like uh, laboring with a small brush when I even, even if it's not a big area, if I just do it with a few brush strokes with a larger brush. Okay. We got a little bit more violet in this kind of migrating down a little bit more there some of that cooler color coming out all right and i'll have some trees going over top of that and i think what i'm going to do well, let's see i think now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take go back to this kind of a blue green and uh, make a few darker marks where the water's kind of kind of coming through. Thank you. 
a bit of darker value. Kind of level this out back here. Okay, so now I'm going to dry it and we put these trees in up here. And that's dry. So I got my four round brush and I want just kind of a blue green. So I'm going to use royal blue and sap green. I use these a lot. So I'm going to get some pigment out of there. Let's see. There we go. It's pretty rich. And now I'm going to take some alizarin. And that'll move that color towards neutral. Probably just a little lighter. So add some water to that. And we'll see what that gives us there. So let's see, I got a couple little trees back here. Just a couple small trees there. Then those were in the distance, so I have these kind of along this ridge. And we got a bigger one here. Try and you know vary the size a little bit on these and the spacing between them. Oh, give it just a little look of something back here just to break that up a little bit. I'll take a little bit more over here. Uh, I've drawn drawn a couple in here, but you can you, know, you can add or subtract as you as you see fit. So I have my trees in there. I like a little stronger edge back here. Okay, so let me give that a dry. All right, that's dry. I'm going to go ahead and take off the masking for this. Give me that feeling of a snowy day. And a little bit heavy right there. So I'm going to take my brush and show a little bit more of the tree. It's got a little too, too heavy there. Now, take the masking off or the tape off. You can see the border. There you go. And 
Sometimes I'll put this on a darker surface so you can really see it. And maybe it's still a little hard, but kind of the, the border around it, you have your card that opens up. So it's still on cardstock. And just another wintry scene. I hope you enjoy uh, experimenting and, and painting this and sharing with your friends.